Hello, my name is Jafet Chavez, and I'd like to welcome you to Charisma Life's first ever broadcasted Christmas special. Now, we know 2020 has been quite a year, and we face a lot of challenges, and Christmas is looking a little different this time around. But as the year comes to a close and we celebrate from our homes, we like to remind you that the best things can come from the most unexpected places. Now, find a cozy spot wherever you are and join our Charisma family as we celebrate the holidays from home this season. Now, quarantine has made us experts in many things, from gardening, to TikTok dances, to Zoom calls. But most delicious of them all has to be cooking. Watch Chef Donna as she teaches, or should I say attempts to teach, some young hopefuls on how to make this delicious sweet treat. So welcome and Merry Christmas, everyone. Well, it's awesome to see all the fine-looking chefs joining us today and in your beautiful kitchens, really pretty. 
So before we start, yes, <laughs> thank you. Can you guys just uh, um, uh, introduce yourselves and then your favorite Christmas dessert? Have Miko go first. Hi guys, my name is Miko Supan, and my favorite Christmas dessert. Oh. Mm. Mm. I have to go with pie, you know. Pie kind of goes yes. into Christmas also, so. I have awesome. To go with pie. All right. Thank you, Miko. How about you, Chelsea? Um, hi guys. I'm Chelsea Belfour, and my favorite is probably pie too, but banana cream pie to be specific. Awesome. That's my favorite too. All right. And what about you, Rachel? I'm Rachel Coutinho, and my favorite. Pumpkin cheesecake. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> we all <went> yes. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. So my name is Donna and I'm your Le Cardon Blue train chef and registered dietitian. So the best of both worlds. So today we're gonna treat ourselves to a yummy holiday dessert. We're making cream puffs. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Have you guys tried that before? Yeah. 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 Awesome. So I'm excited. But first, hygiene. So if you have long hair, try to tie your hair back. Yes. Yes, Miko. Perfect. <laughs> and then let's wash our hands. It's a very, very important practice in today's world, especially in the kitchen. So everyone, let's tie your hair back and wash your hands. All right, our hands are clean. So on today's agenda, we're gonna start by making our pâte à choux. So in French, pâte means paste, and choux means cabbage, because when the puff comes out of the oven, they look like little, little cabbages. So, and then we're gonna make some homemade whipped cream, and then we're gonna build our cream puffs, beautiful cream puffs, all right? So does, um, does everyone, um, have their ingredients and tools out, ready to go? Yes. Perfect, yes. I see that, Thank awesome. You. Awesome, Rachel, yes. Perfect, Miko, Miko got the mixer, so everyone has their mixer, perfect. Oh, no. So let's So let's get started. First, let's preheat our oven to 425 degrees. to make sure I didn't have any pots and pans inside the oven. Oh yes, we tend to put that. <laughs> we tend to do that in our kitchen, yes. So now what you guys wanna do next is line your baking sheet with parchment paper. Okay, so everyone grab their baking sheet. You put it right in front of you or right near you, and then we're gonna start adding ingredients in it. Perfect, beautiful, beautiful saucepans. What you wanna do is add half a cup of water in the saucepan. Is that a small like milk container you guys are opening there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, perfect. A few moments later. Um, so yeah, once the bubbles start forming, because if we let it bubble too much, it's gonna burn. It's gonna burn. Later that same evening. I don't have a mixer. Do you have a whisk? You don't have a whisk. Do you have something that looks like a whisk? Whisk. Yes, perfect. Perfect, Chelsea. All right, so you want to make sure you're using this to check. Yep. Okay. Is that the best thing you have? Rachel, do you have these from the blender bottle? <laughs> Is that possible? Could she do it in like a blender bottle? I mean, yeah, she's got to work it again though, but yeah. yeah do, you, do you have those like, like, you don't have this in the blender bottle? No, I have that, but I'm not doing it. Is that oh. someone's fire alarm? Is that your fire alarm? Who's that? Ooh. She oh. said, don't. Don't! Oh, oh my, my gosh! gosh. She's gonna burn. <laughs> <laughs> Please be careful. <laughs> take what's it happened? out, Rachel. So, uh, please use mitts and take it out. What's it? Wait, Rachel. Before you open it, what's it? Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Rachel! <laughs> Rachel, 
You <laughs> Josh is loving this right now. I don't think the pan should be burning. It must be something else in the oven. Yeah, I shouldn't. Yeah, is there something else in there? We're gonna do it for presentation. This is what ended up happening to the whole uh, whipped cream Whoa, stick of butter. Good, but it's like butter. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, dude. It's like softened butter. Yeah, that's. Spread it on your toes. <laughs> I ate one. You? Oh, you ate one already? Put <laughs> the rest of them, and then I'll uh, and then I'll show you, and then you guys present your best presentation. So I'm charging, uh, hold on, let me see. How much do these cream puffs cost? Hold on. Gosh. Oh, they're gonna Merry see all Christmas, the mess everyone. I just made. So this would probably go for like 45 at a, at a, oh, 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 right there for y'all. So wow. 45 at a restaurant. Um. Oh my gosh, Miko. <laughs> Look at that chocolate, like, artwork you did there on your plate. This is the, now this is the ultimate test. We are oh, ready. Yeah. Oh, how many? That's so cute. Yes, Rachel. I need to find a cute plate. Oh, wow. I love the little berries at the end, girl. Nice. Look at this. Try it on camera. Ooh. Yes. This looks so good. Absolutely. All right, ready? Let's try it and then let me know. What do you think? Yes. Here you go. Mm, oh, sorry. I, mm. Mm. All right, here we go. Does it have a nice crispy crust and then it's all hollow on the inside? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like soft inside. That's really good. Good job, bro. That was good, huh? Wow. <laughs> you guys made cream puffs. Good job. This is your first time ever. Mm -hmm. Wow, you did a really good job. First time first ever. Time. Nice. This is my first official like baking experience. This was great. Rachel, how's oh. it with cream at least? Your whipped cream? No, it's really good. It's good, good, good. Mm. All right, you guys are awesome. Oh, Thank you, Donna. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, hope you guys can join in on, on um, baking with us and find love in the kitchen. Love you guys. Thank Merry you. Christmas. Thank you, Thank you. you. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Good effort on those cream puffs, guys. Christmas can be a joyful and exciting time for many. For some, it can be a melancholy experience. As we reflect on this challenging year, let's remember a small family that struggled through some humble beginnings. Little did they know that their perseverance and faithfulness would become one of the reasons we celebrate today's season. This is how the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law, and he did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. 
All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet, The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife, but he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. There are shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to the God in the highest heaven, and on earth, peace to those whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see the thing that has happened which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. Mary wrapped the baby in clocks and placed them in a manger because there are no guest rooms available for them.
Merry Christmas! It's Pastor Alan here, and I hope you are blessed watching this Christmas special. Before we go to our last presentation, let me share to you the story taken from the Gospel of Matthew. This is how Jesus, the Messiah, was born. His mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, to whom she was engaged, was a righteous man and did not want to disgrace her publicly, and so he decided to break the engagement quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All of this occurred to fulfill the Lord's message through his prophet. Now when Joseph woke up, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded and took Mary as his wife, but he did not have sexual relations with her until her son was born. And Joseph named him Jesus. This is from Matthew chapter 1, verse 18 to 25. Friends, we have high expectations for Christmas. We want everything to be perfect. As soon as the last Christmas is over, we have pictures in our minds of how to outdo the last one. 
pictures of children playing, choir singing, family gatherings, parties, and, and gifts and whatnot. After all, it's supposed to be, as the song says, the most wonderful time of the year and the happiest season of all. But to all of us, Christmas is going to be different this year. It is a year filled with terms like canceled, social distance, lockdown, quarantine, and the pandemic. We look for the Christmas season to be a time of perfect peace, harmony, and joy, but it seems it is not happening. But the first Christmas was not that way. It was an interruption. Interruptions can happen at any good time. Consider the timing of Joseph and Mary's. They were engaged to be married. Like Christmas, an engagement is supposed to be a time of expectation. But it was during this time that an angel appeared to Mary and told her that she would miraculously, as a virgin, conceive and give birth to the Son of God. But what joyful news to be chosen by God to bear His Son. But it is also an interruption. How would she explain her pregnancy to Joseph? Would he even believe her? This was not in their plans. And yet she accepted it. Now Joseph also responded in disbelief. How could he believe that his plans for a happy home with the woman he loved vanished right before his eyes? His life as well as hers and their families had the potential of a scandal. Friends, I grew up in a humble family. Our Christmas celebration was simple and yet meaningful. But one Christmas, there was a national economic crisis and many people lost their jobs and businesses were closed. Those who can afford left the country for good. The prices of commodities tripled. And I still remember how that year we had no Christmas tree, no presents, no decorations, and only had chicken soup and bread for Christmas Eve. Our family's Christmas and its traditions were interrupted. Friends, if we are not careful, our response to an interruption can send us down to the wrong path. When Joseph discovered Mary's pregnancy, he was devastated. He couldn't buy her story about a virgin conception. As much as he loved her, there was nothing left to do but to divorce her. You see, the, the ancient Jewish engagement was binding than today's engagements. And the only way out of one was divorce. In fact, Joseph had all the right to punish her for infidelity. But because he was a good man, he did not want to harm her or embarrass her, but planned to divorce her privately. This was Joseph's human response to a divine interruption. But it would have been a huge mistake. Often an interruption brings a quick re reaction rather than a humble reflection. We make decisions according to our fears and our feelings. The key to a Handling an interruption is to be humble and to hear God's voice during the silence. And when he finally speaks, to trust and obey him. The Bible says while he was sleeping, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and explained that the interruption is divine and that God is in control even in that impossible situation. Joseph woke up with a changed mind. He committed to take Mary as his wife and help raise this miraculous child. Joseph saw God's perspective out of this interruption. You see, friends, when you encounter an interruption, whatever it may be, don't react to your own feelings and thoughts. Seek God's direction. Remember, the Bible says in Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not in your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge, and He will direct you to the right paths. Here are three words to remember as you observe this Christmas unlike no other. The first word is the word humility. The first thing to do is to be humble and to understand that there are circumstances beyond our control and our understanding. This pandemic and its impact are beyond our human capacity to solve. And in that state of humility and helplessness, God intervenes because when we are weak, the Bible says, then God is strong. The second word is to trust. It's very important to trust in Him and to keep in our mind that God is still in control of our lives. Nothing can happen to you without God knowing it. Many times our expectations can become interruptions that positively redirect our lives, such as what happened to Joseph and Mary. The direction of their future 
took to a different, you know, uh, direction. But it was so much better. Perhaps this pandemic has already interrupted many of your plans and your priorities. Whatever interruption you may be enduring right now, why not look at it in a different light and ask God, are you using this to do something greater? Then begin to look for greater things that He will begin to do in your circumstance. Lastly, take delight in your circumstance. Whatever interruption you may be experiencing this season, there is one thing you can do. Stop worrying, but be grateful that God gave you the greatest gift, and that is Jesus. Remember the promise of the Messiah came when there were doom and gloom, like what we are experiencing right now. The Bible says the people who walk in darkness will see a great light. And those who live in the land of deep darkness, a light will shine. For to us a child is born, a son is given, and he will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Friends, I hope that that is something that you will receive this Christmas. As I close, I invite you to pray with me. A prayer that God will be with you in this season of interruption. Let us pray. God Almighty, this has been a very difficult year. There's so much death. There's so much illness. There's so much division. There's so many interruptions all around the world, our country, our family, and even our lives. Lord, if we only have the power to change things, we would have done it a long time ago. And yet we don't have that. We are powerless. And so that is we come to you, Lord, tonight or whatever time it is, Lord, in humility. In this familiar place, you come to our aid and not only give us what we need, but we receive more than that. And that is Jesus, the greatest gift who can give us this wonderful life, this victorious life, a life knowing that we are loved and a life of peace. So as many of us are in our homes during this season, we ask that that same light that's shown in that little inn, that little room in Bethlehem, will be the same light that will shine in our homes and give us joy and give us peace and give us love during this time. In Jesus' name, our Emmanuel, the God with us, we pray. Amen. Friends, I thank you for watching this Christmas special. And if you would like to know more about our church, Charisma Life Church, please uh, visit our website, our Facebook page, and also our YouTube channel. Now enjoy the rest of this program and Merry Christmas. The Lord bless you. Hey Charisma, Pastor Monte and Linda here. We just want to say how much we love you. We appreciate you. And, and we, we want, want to wish, wish you a Merry Christmas. Christmas. Hi, this is Jose family. From our family to yours, Merry Christmas. Hi, Charisma fam. We're the Payowls. My name is Randy. I'm Melissa. I'm Matt. And I'm Lauren. And my name is Olivia. We wish you a... Merry Christmas! Yay! Merry Christmas! Oh, hey! Merry Christmas! Maligayang Pasko po sa inyong lahat at manigong bagong taon. Merry Christmas to all of you and a blessed new year. From the Isabella family, Russell, Anna, and our children, John and Rachel. Hi, Charisma family! We hope you're staying safe and healthy throughout this holiday season. We wanted to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Happy holidays, we miss you all. Bye. 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 Hello everyone. We are the Reyes and Tinet family. From our family to yours, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless! Greetings, we are the De La Cruz family. We are here to remind us all that the joys of Christmas is not cancelled even in pandemic. The hope and peace of Christmas still remains in our hearts. We cannot wait to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So from our family to yours, Good Yule! Maligayang Pasko! Buon Natale! 
Feliz Navidad. And finally, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Hello everybody. The Vega family would like to wish everybody Grace, Elizabeth, myself, Eunice, Josia, Sea Life, Ruth and Josias, little Josias. Wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad a toda la hermandad. Gocens hermanos, hay victorias en Cristo, y Cristo viene pronto. Feliz Navidad y un próspero año nuevo le deseamos a todos. Amén y Amén. Hello, Carisma. We're the Canamasa family. My name is Paul. And Jocelyn. We're here to greet you a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year for 2021. Maligayang Pasko at manigong bagong taon po sa inyong lahat. Well, hope everybody in your family is home for this uh, season, for this Christmas, and enjoying everybody's company. God bless. God bless. From our family to yours, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Merry Christmas from the Mantel family! From the Jimenez family to Charisma family, have a very Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everyone. So we wish you a most blessed Christmas, filled with hope for a brighter New Year. We wish you a wonderful Christmas, a healthy, healthy, prosperous New Year. From our home and family to yours, this is Pastor A. Mendoza. And I'm Esther Mendoza. And this is Jewel Mendoza. We greet you a, a blessed, blessed Christmas, Christmas and a, and a safer, safer 2021. 2021. God bless you. Hello, Christmas family. I am so happy to greet you. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. The Lord is good. The Lord is with us. The Lord is blessing us in spite of this COVID pandemic. I'm praying that all of you today are safe and secure and happy in your family. May God continue to bless you and use you to bless other people. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Magandang Pasko po sa inyong lahat. Mahal po namin kayo. Pinagdadasal po namin kayong palagi. Hindi po namin kayo nakakalimutan. Mahaya pa Pasko po kaya kayo ngan. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Charisma Life Christmas special. We hope we've shown you that the best things can come from the most unexpected areas. Join us online on Facebook and YouTube at Charisma Life Church. From our family to yours, Feliz Navidad, Maligayang Pasco, and Ho Ho Ho! Merry Christmas! There's a special glow inside this home, a touch of candlelight. Cinnamon and cloves are coming from the kitchen stove.
Christmas in the air Oh, there's something about this time of year to be born will be called the son of God even angel your <laughs> you will conceive and give birth to a son and you will oh <laughs> oh I haven't thought about that hold on give me a second now I'm really trying to work this out That's like a thirty dollar dessert, huh? Seven ninety nine. I rolling in three, two. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Charisma Life Christmas special. We hope we've shown you that the best things can come out of nowhere. I'm gonna start from the top. Thank you so much for jo our family to yours. Feliz Navidad, Maligas. Oh my. But Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, and oh my. From our family to yours, Feliz Navidad. I forgot my, how you say it? Maligayan. Maligayan Pasco. celebrate from our homes. Uh, Hello, my name is Jafet Chavez and I'd like to welcome you to Charisma Life's first ever Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. Christmas. The year comes to an end and it's always the safety takes I start messing up on.